like we always do with this. this drawing for the past two months and to be honest i only completed this after the first video so these are the art materials i'm gonna use so let's continue the drawing and before that let us rewind what i have done till now I will cover as much as I can in this part and this is going to be a real fun. So here with the eyes I am doing it as slowly as possible using a HB pencil and layer by layer shading is the technique I am going to use here with HB, 4B and 8B. Second layer being completed, and I'm going to again add a whole layer with four layers of paint. Now I'm using a white gel pen to add details. If you don't have it, you can use a white acrylic paint. Or a white note. Don't let the space inside the eyes completely white. Fill the outer edges with very light shades and blend them very softly. First, use HB pencil for the base layer and blend it, highlight it. From here the process will differ with different tones. For light tone, that's it. For mid tone, you have to add another layer with the same HB or 2B. For dark tone since it is more dark we have to use 6B or 4B and defaultly blend it and highlight it. Now for mid tone next layer is not necessary. For dark tone use 8B and blend it and highlight it that's it. For some dark tone maybe fourth layer is necessary. But this is the process. Shade it, blend it and highlight it that's it. Hope this would made your work easy. It's time to sleep and I'm going to continue it tomorrow. Good night. It's 
already tomorrow and this one is taking much time than i thought i'm going to try my best to make it look as realistic as possible let's go Erase the center portion of the nose as it is completely white in the reference image. Even after highlighting, blend that area so that it merges with the shaded region. Now I am drawing skin pores using random dots with HB pencil. It will take time and you have to give it. You can see how I am doing this in this real time speed. And this is the process I am going to use for the whole skin texture. Now this is the process. Keep random dots using HB pencil, blend it and again keep random dots using a eraser, blend it and again with pencil. You have to use this layer by layer technique if you want to get it realistic. Skin pores, blending and highlights are all the small small things which really makes your drawing pop out and makes it more realistic. Capturing the skin texture from the reference is the most important thing in a portrait drawing. Though you have drawn eyes, nose and lips more accurately, skin texture is the one which furnishes your drawing and makes it more satisfying. Leave the upper cheek portion completely untouched and blend only this region so that the highlighted area doesn't look odd. If you have drawn skin pores in one region, you have to continue that in other regions as well. Not so and it will look odd. I started drawing I usually ignore ears, but that's absolutely wrong, though ears are not as important as eyes, you have to give importance to it. For me personally, drawing lips is the most difficult part and I want you to see here exactly what I am doing. Since this is a very small area, you have to go from light to dark that is HB to 6B. And for eyelids you can use fine eraser if you have or else you can cut down your normal eraser into small pieces and use them. For blending you can use normal cotton wax if you do not have small sized brush. These materials are not only for lips but for the whole drawing. Blending material differs from the area of the region you are gonna cover. 
for small area you can use cotton buds for medium area you can use brush and for large area you can use cotton fuego fuego en mi corazón directly with 4B or 6B even if it is very dark always start with 2 heads or HD or any lower head heads Since the area is too large and for more smoothness, I'm gonna use cotton instead of makeup brush. Don't forget to check out the third part of this drawing because clothes is the most detailed area in this image and that video is really going to be interesting. So this is the drawing, I will be continuing it in next videos. If you are new to this channel, hit that red color button right there and leave a nice comment. Bye bye. Fuego, fuego en mi corazón.